Hello everyone, uh, my name is Gary. I'm Steve. And we're from worldstart.com and, and today we're going to go over a new tip on creating a guest account in, uh, in Windows 7. Um, as you know, uh, Windows has always had different types of accounts that you can create. There's uh, you know, different limits that you can give people and different permissions. Um, in Windows, the guest account is always the lowest level account with the least permissions, but it's a great thing to use if you just want to give somebody access to your computer so they can get online or you know, just do some basic things. Right. Let's say, for instance, you have some guests coming over this summer and they're staying over and you have maybe crazy Uncle Joe who likes to go in there and mess with all your settings every time he gets on your computer. Give him a guest account. He gets into a guest account, he can get online, he can do the basic stuff, but he can't touch your stuff. And that's what's important and that's where a guest account really shines. Right. So we're going to go ahead and turn to the computer here and just kind of show you how this works. All right. Here we go. Okay, we're at the computer. Let's take a quick look at how we can set up a guest account. Now one thing that uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7 have is this handy little search box here. The great thing about this search box is it saves a lot of time if you're trying to find a particular function, a uh, particular setting on your computer. Instead of drilling down through window after window after window, you can just type what you want and that's exactly how we're going to do it today. For the guest account, we're just going to type in guest account. Just like that and I'm going to hit enter. And here we go. This is, the, uh, this is the screen that we're looking for. As you can see, I'm right here. There's Steve, the administrator. And the guest account actually at this point is off. So what we need to do is turn it on. Nothing to it. We just click it and select turn on. And the guest account is now on and ready to go. If I go to switch user, I will be able to access the guest account right right there immediately. Now I'm not going to do it right now because our screen capture will uh, will stop and you won't be able to actually see what we're doing anyhow but trust me you switch user and you'll get the option to go to that guest account. If you want to shut the guest account off say crazy uncle Joe has left go ahead and uh, click guest account and just select turn off guest account and that's it that's all there is to it. All right, well that's about it for guest accounts. Um, like Steve showed you on the computer guest accounts are a great way to let a user, somebody that uh, maybe you don't know as well, somebody that's a guest in your house, maybe even your kids, use your computer but not mess it up. They can go online, they can um, just, you know, they can view their own documents and things. They cannot get access to your documents and settings. They can't make system changes. Um, they, they don't have permissions to install programs. It's, it's just a great way to limit them so someone can just use your computer. Well, that's about all we have for you today on that tip. We hope that helped you out a lot. Uh, make sure you head over to our website. Make sure you're on our uh, Computer Tips newsletter. For sure, sign up for that. You want to make sure you get these video tips every time we get a new one out. If you have a question that you'd like us to answer on the video tips, uh, keep in mind we do get tons and tons of these, but we would like you to go to this address right here, worldstart.com slash ask, and uh, throw us your question. And who knows, maybe next week you'll see it up here on the video. Thanks for watching.